Hello YouTube. Uh, today we have an unboxing of a generic uh, uh, Coastal Mini 3D printer. Uh, goes by the name of Anycubic. I purchased this on AliExpress for a total of $212 US. And that includes uh, DHL shipping. Uh, from the day I purchased it to the the day I received it was seven days total, so that wasn't too bad. Um, supposedly in the kit, uh, there's a free heated bed, as well as some sample uh, filament and 4.4 millimeter nozzles. Uh, before I go any further, I would just like to point out that uh, I am a novice uh, when it comes to 3D printers. This will be my first 3D printer and my only knowledge is basically what I've read online. So here we go, let's just get into it. look inside the box. Um, according to the product page the build area is um, 150 millimeters by 300 millimeters height. Uh, it is the pulley system not the linear rail system. I'm not sure what the big difference is there if there's any advantage or disadvantage. I do know the cost was slightly less than the linear rail system. Um, I suppose if I ever want to upgrade to the linear rail system it, someday it wouldn't be too hard. Okay, let's go. First thing is the manual. So it's all in English. Uh, quite well detailed. Step by step. That's the manual. So, as I said, the the brand is called Anycubic. Um, I can't really find anything on them online. Uh, this is why I, I'm doing one of the reasons I'm doing the unboxing as well as the eventual build video, uh, and it is the pulley version. So here's our. Sample filament. So there's supposed to be five small rolls of sample filament. But what it looks like they gave me is one red and four blue. Oh well. I can use this to help calibrate the printer. And if it's not enough, I do have a, a one kilo roll that I purchased uh, at the same time I purchased the printer that is already here. Here are the four extra print nozzles, uh, supposedly 0.4 millimeter. Okay. Make some room. Here we have our uh, our 15 by 15 extrusion that'll make up our three towers. It, uh, kit is all black. Top frame, uh, various nuts and washers and uh, uh, bolts. We have our motor frame. We have our carbon fiber rods, as well as our carriage. So here's the free uh, heated bed. Uh, as I said, it was part of the promotion at the time. Then they're no longer offering this. 
Instead, right now, they're offering a kilo of uh, filament, the 1.75 millimeter filament. Um, uh, this is good and bad. Uh, good, I can use it for ABS. Uh, and it's a nice added feature, especially since it's a bonus feature. The bad is uh, it doesn't come with a thermistor or any wiring. And I believe after talking back and forth with the seller, the power supply that comes with this kit will not be capable of providing power to this heated bed. So I'll get into that more later near the end of the unboxing. But here is the free heated bed. It's a fair size, uh, much bigger than the, the 150 millimeter print area of the actual printer. But this would probably this goes underneath my uh, my print area. I apologize for the rambling. And if I get anything wrong, as I said, uh, I'm a, I'm a new to this. I'm a novice. So if I get any terms wrong, uh, I apologize in advance. So here we have our lower frame assembly. And they're not printed parts. They are injection molded parts, which is good. It means they're a little higher quality. Uh, they should be quite strong. I was a little concerned. I couldn't tell on the product page whether they were printed parts or injected molded parts. But they are injected molded parts. There are three of the bottom and three top. Here we have our carbon fiber rods, six of them, as well as the various hardware for them. Uh, I will have to check these to make sure they're all the exact length as well as the ends are bonded in quite well. Uh, I'll get into that during the build phase. Here are our attachments for our carbon fiber rods to our uh, towers as well as all the bearings that go to the towers. I said this is a pulley system so I don't have the, the linear rails or the assembly for that. Instead I just have the basic pulley system that relies on the tower itself. Some more parts. These parts here do look printed. These are printed. They're not injected molded. As well as these parts here. They are printed. So, so far just the frame pieces are injected molded. We have the rest of our 1515 extrusion for our base. And our top assembly. Okay, next. So what we have, we have our So we have the clamps to hold down our glass plate, and here's our bed. It should fit nicely in the center of our heated bed. Perfect. Our plates to hold down our glass filled area. Um, we have our tubing for filament. Uh, this is Bowden style extruder, as are most uh, Delta style printers, as well as some wire wrap. USB cable, various nuts and bolts. Xbox. Okay, and here we have our power adapter, our LCD panel, our LCD holder, and faceplate for the LCD, and some various nuts and bolts. And here we have some bearings, some nuts and some bolts. Everything labeled. Uh, here is our LCD panel. SD card slot in the back. Control. And here is our faceplate for the LCD panel. Here is our power supply. It is 12 volt, 6 amp. 
uh, which I definitely know will not be enough for that heated bed. And I'm, I'm a little concerned that it might be enough, might not be enough for the entire system with the hot end excluding the heated bed. And if that's the case, what I might do is I have an extra PC power supply lying around, an 850 gold uh, certified. What I might do there is short the pins, short the two pins on the motherboard connector and set up the power supply to run this setup. It might be more efficient and reliable than this. But it does come with a power supply. However, it is only uh, 6 amp. We have our belt, our belt tensioners, our limit switch, and stop blocks and various nuts and bolts. So, uh, our belt tensioners, our limit switches, as well as our belts. Next box. Five boxes to go. So in here we have our on-off switch for the rear, various connectors, uh, face plate for the USB as well as the on-off switch in the back, and. Um, a reset switch, we'll go right there, so on off, reset, USB, our patch through cable for our USB, so this will be underneath the system and this will patch through in the back. Here we have our stepper motors for our towers. So we have our three uh, our three cogs on bearings to attach for our stepper motor and our three individual stepper motors as well as some mounting screws and the wiring for each stepper motor which is already pre-wired on both ends so no soldering is required. I think the only soldering that I will have to I'll have to do is if I want to install the heated bed. We have our extruder motor as well as the extruder holder bearings, uh, various gaskets. So again we have our extruder motor which is uh, a little bigger than the stepper motors for the towers fairly beefy pre-wired we have our uh, our holder for our extruder motor as well as our bracket assembly and bearings to uh, feed our filament through ok two boxes left so here we have our Ranch 1.4 board as well as our um, Adreno Mega 2560 board, uh, various holders to hold the, the boards in place as well as our A4988 drive chips, five of those, as well as cooling things. So let's see. So here we have our Adreno. 2650 back plate. Here we have our Ramps 1.4 board, power supply connector, USB. Here we have we our A4988 drives, chips, as well as five heat sinks. 
some nuts and bolts to hold everything in place. One more box. So here we have our effector, our printing head, uh, framer for a printing head, as well as two fans. Uh, another thing I liked about this uh, uh, kit was that the printing head has two fans, one blowing directly on the heat sink and one blowing on the hot end as the filament comes out. So here is our hot end. I'm not sure of the quality of this thing. Uh, time will tell. A 0.4 millimeter nozzle. Uh, it's already pre-wired for me with the thermistor inside. So that's all taken care of. That uh, is pretty handy. It'll save me some time. Um, we have our two fans. The larger fan will basically mount uh, here somewhere on the heat sink. And the smaller fan on this carriage will mount right here. As you see, effectively cooling off the hot end. How effective they are, we'll have to wait and see. Take this out of the bag. Here we go. Okay. So there it is, the complete unbox kit of the AnyCubic Coso Mini 3D printer purchased on AliExpress. Again. The entire kit cost me $212 US. That includes the DHL shipping and the bonus heat bed and filament samples. Um, I'm not sure if I'm missing any parts. I won't know that until I get into the build. But in general, what I see here, the major components are all here. Uh, the only issue I'll have will be the power supply, which I'll deal with when I get to it. But uh, for the price, uh, so far what I got, it seems like a pretty good deal. Um, any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I'll do my best to answer them. And thank you for watching.